So this is day two. Starts with a few foot issues, just got a few little blisters, well not little, one quite big blister yesterday because uh, it was raining a lot of the day, so um, that was kind of expected. I brought mainly dry kit because it's only two weeks of monsoon and then the other 10 weeks I should be pretty dry, so that's what I've kind of got equipment for. Um, I just need to make it through these uh, two weeks somehow. Um, just stopped here because it's a pretty cracking view. Uh, I'm just starting to uh, gain a little bit of altitude after having been uh, down at the bottom, down at the hottest place. I kind of can't wait to, to gain a little bit of height for it to cool down a little bit. Um, pretty hot, although today is a lot better. There's a little bit of a breeze today. Today is a lot easier um, just in terms of uh, stress on the body. Uh, I think it was a bit of a shock yesterday uh, because I think because of the start as well and the heat and everything and the second part of the day it just rained so I got completely drenched. Um, I think that's how I got the blisters then. Um, couldn't really find much place to stay yesterday as well so uh, but I did right at the end. It already got dark. Found a, a small little hotel I guess uh, it's called uh, cost $2. Uh, one of the cheaper ones here. Pretty basic but it was shelter. It was good. Uh, so onwards now to the next place. Just found this little bench in the middle of nowhere in a little shelter. Uh, so I'm having some lunch here. I'm only, uh, well, probably about an hour less uh, away from the next village but it's a nice spot. No one about at all. Um, one moped has gone past on the road, which is just over here. Since I got here about half an hour ago, so I've just laid out some kit. Got some ruddy here uh, that someone's made for me. Put in a bag. I've got my bot with some, uh, I don't know what it's called, <laughs> but uh, some food in there. Just letting my feet breathe and having lunch and enjoying the scenery.